हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इज टेक्निकल नॉलेज बेटा दिस वॉक में इन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ यू कैन एड एस टी एम एल लेवल इन पावर ऑफ गैलरी वाई बिकॉज नॉर्मल टेक्स्ट और नॉर्मल टेक्स्ट लेवल इज नॉट सपोर्टेड इफ यू हैव अ कॉलम विच कंटेन रिच टेक्स प्रॉपर्टीज ओके इफ यू हैव वॉच दिस वीडियो आई विल रिकमेंड दिस टू वॉच दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट आई विल एड लिंक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एज वेल एज आई बटन सो प्लीज चेक इट आउट so today's topic is to add uh, so this is my application called employee date tells gallery and uh, in previous video i have added this html label so that it will show properly if the text is bold then it will it will show it you as a bold and all these different properties right now i will show you today how you can uh, how you can add rich text editor in power app form why because uh, this particular uh column uh, is nothing but a details column i will show you what column i have used over here and this atom dot details and if uh, and i have used this particular sharepoint list to connect uh, to store this data in the back end in the sharepoint list so okay so this is the list and if i show you the property of this list setting then details column if we click on the details one this is multi line text right multi line text with rich text editor what is the rich text editor rich text editor like you can add picture tables or hyperlinks over here if i select plain text then it will show only plain text not the bold one or not the underline one not the table and all right so now the problem is if we if we not use uh rich text editor under the form then i will show you how it will look so i have not added detail column over here right so if i click on add fields and add details uh, okay so i will play it now you can see a div class external uh, so external and all right so all the all these things are i think html table and all these things are added by default because we need to change the behavior of this particular column and it's very easy to change the behavior so i will show you how you can uh, how you can resolve it so uh, because currently it is showing html and other text so just uh, click on uh, inner card of this details tab and just delete it okay if i think it's locked so try again select this particular card in, inside the card and press on delete or click on delete now just add insert and rich rich text editor input type because this right because this will help you to achieve your goal right so now just set the property Uh, let's check another property or the card property of another text another column uh, let's check the um, where is that properties if we go to properties 30 49 so i will set uh, x axis as 30 and y axis as 49 so it will it will look properly okay now i will extend the width as per my need and uh, one more thing i will do i will the first uh, i will set its property as a multi line uh, i think i don't need to do that because it will handle automatically okay so now yeah now we have two errors because we changed the default box and we added the rich text box over here but yeah before that i will add just the size first its height is 207 okay and inner height should be less than that it's 158 that's great but what i will do is i will just drag this okay and Okay, it's let's say it's two ten outer height, and it should be like one ninety or one sixty something. Okay, we'll consider it as one fifty. 
okay now we have added the rich text editor field so what is the property uh, what are the advantages of this is you can bold particular text or you want to underline you can do all these things you can apply multiple properties in the rich text editor so that's the use of it now uh, we need to resolve these errors right so but before that click on the inner card of these details now select the card property uh, select the name rich text editor copy this or if you want you can change this also uh, click on this and it's showing data card value text but we have deleted the data card value too so control a delete and just paste it editor name and dot because it's kind of html text not the normal text no just repeat that so one error is resolved now now click on another one and just you need to replace this data card value with the editor name now oh, restart editor again okay now error is resolved but we uh, if we check if i go back uh, it should be reflect like dummy text refers right this particular line but if i click on it it's it's showing nothing right it's showing default text so for that just, just click inner card which is rich text and uh, the default property you need to delete this default property okay now in the default property you need to add small code parent dot default so what it will do is it will catch default uh, default text of that particular column and it will fetch over here so now it will it is showing properly correct so let's consider if i want to highlight this particular text okay i will click on the bold if we click on three dot you will uh, it will open multiple another properties like if you want to change the text color let's say green and if i close it now it's green okay and i if i submit this and again if i go over here now you can see it's showing properly so if you are if you are facing this issue like a uh, div kind of a tag is uh, appearing in all your edit form then you can try this rich text editor properties right and it's very easy to implement so this is how you can uh, you can add or you can use rich text editor uh, card in our app form if you like my video then do subscribe to my channel thanks